Hello everyone, this is the introduction from BioLight. My name is Jimmy. Okay, so in front of you is the central monitoring system and we have a touch screen CMS display screen over there, which is running demo for the patient monitors. As you can see, we can display up to 16 beds at the same time on one single display. And also we have a S12 being connected to the central monitoring system which is over here. And also we have a salivary display over here. Okay, so if we using uh, multiple displays in the clinicals, we can set up uh, multiple screens at the same time. And when we're using the central monitoring system, we will be able to see two waveforms at the same time. And if we want to focus on individual patients, we'll be able to click onto the arrow here to spread the individual patient's waveform, as you can see here. So totally on the screen, at the same time, we will be able to see six waveforms. And if we want to focus on more waveforms, we can select over here and we can click view bed. And we will be able to see 10 waveforms at the same time. And also we can customize our individual waveforms, depends on the user's needs and we can select the relevant waveforms on the screen. Okay, we can choose all 12 leads over there, or either we can select different uh, waveforms. If we want to put all 12 lead waveform over there, we can choose over here, and we can select 12 lead. And when we set up central monitoring system, we'll be able to connect all 66 monitors into the CMS. And also we have a review function. When you click on to the review function, you will bring us to this page. Okay, we can review patient's waveform, train and graph, train data, for example, over here, and alarm events, uh, abnormal ECG, and patient information. Okay, so we can uh, edit the patient's information as well. Then we can click here to quit. And also we have a system setup. So over here we have demo setup and we can key in the passcode to go to dem demo mode. And we can set up the waveform color. For all waveforms, we can customize color. And also we have system parameters set up and we can choose the unit, everything. And we have um, startup setup and we can choose the display mode. Okay, we can choose mode one or either mode two. And we have uh, system maintenance, and also we have calculation function over here. Okay, we have um, concentration calculation for drugs. And we have, have um, hemodynamic calculations. And we can calculate patient's renal functions. And we have ventilation and oxygenation calculation. And also we have one more patient information. Very quick key for us to key in patient's information and patient ID, name, uh, gender, and all that then we can save the patient's information inside. And currently we have a patient using our um, temperature probe. So once we check in the patient's temperature, uh, this is the accessories being connected to him. Okay. Then we have a temperature, real-time temperature over here, which is 36.6 degrees. And also in the CMS, we will be able to see the readings over here. And also for the external display over here, can also see 36.6 degrees over here. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to check the blood pressure. Okay. So the blood pressure cuff and we'll put it onto the patient's arm. And also we wait for the reading. And the blood pressure readings will be reflected over here for an IBP. Okay, his blood pressure is 129 over 78. And also in the CMS, we'll be able to see the readings over here in real time. 
and also for the other display. And this is the ECG probe. It will be applying on the patient's chest. Okay, once we finish up pacing the lids, we will be able to see patient's ECG waveform on the on the S series patient monitor. Okay, also on CMS, we'll be able to see the ECG waveforms in real time. Together with respiration. The respiration is 15 breaths per minute. Okay. And the external display as well. And also we have a seven lids can be displayed on the screen together. And also in the CMS, and also here. This is the SPO2 probe, which is 9 pin. And also I'll be connecting to the S12. Okay, once I plug it in, I'm able to put it onto the patient's hand. Once I put it onto the patient's hands, I'll be able to see the SPO2 readings on the screen. Which is the pleth. Here. And the saturation is 97% right now. And I can see perfusion index as well. So on the CMS, I'm able to see the waveforms too. And currently we are measuring patients SPO2 level and if the patient accidentally take out rock and the machine will alarm SPO2 sensor off. And also on the CMS, we'll be seeing the SPO2 sensor off notification in real time. And if I want to suspend the alarm, I'm able to operate on the CMS to suspend alarm for two minutes. And also if I want to remotely check patient's blood pressure, I can always click onto the arrow to press the button and measure an IBP. When I, once I press, the machine will automatically check patient's blood pressure remotely. which is 127 over 79 and also we'll be getting a reading in the CMS and also we can remotely print patients uh, vital sign reports and now it's 6 18 p.m. if I want to print patients results I can click onto the arrow and click print if we have printer being connected to the ventral monitoring system. and after we print out the report this is the report that we have which is case history report, and we will be able to see patients waveform, including ECG and SPO2, whichever waveforms that we can see on the CMS, and also readings. Once we monitor the patient for a period of time, we can go back here to click view beds, and we can see waveform review, and we can see the holographic waveforms over here. And also we can see train graph, which is over here, it's a summary including trend data, which is the blood pressure that we've been measuring. Okay, and also alarm events, and including ECG heart rate is low, temperature, all the information, and also abnormal ECGs. Once we de detected as a PVC, also it will be recorded here. If the patient is concerned about their privacy being revealed to the public, we can always go to privacy mood. We can click on the main button and we can go to a privacy mood as you can see here. 
So once we click, the monitor will be going to a privacy mode display, displaying screen. But. And the monitor will be keep monitoring the patient. And the CMS will still display the patient's waveform in the nurse's station.